My name is Pedro Harrison. I'm an amateur archaeologist searching for lost civilizations in Barbados, the West Indies. This is in the Caribbean. Before the Portuguese came to Barbados and gave this island its name, this island was called the Red Island all because of the red clear torn soil all the way back There were inhabitants on this island, a lost civilization that leave a lot of signs that they were here. You'll see their carvings, their stones. There's a tree fish rock, there's Permit Hill. There's also itchings and carvings on Rock Road, the Scotland district. Also find redstone sculptures, itchings, rock art, dainties, bones, stone tools. Strangest of all finds was this black stone. This black stone was found at a depth of eight feet below the surface, and it was clean and it presented itself to be very shiny all the way around. It's about an inch and a quarter in length, about an inch in diameter, and it's about two ounces of weight it is also found to be very magnetic a strong magnification that this rock have who made it where did it come from your guess is as good as mine the black stone keep watching this channel for more videos on archaeology in barbados Welcome to the beautiful cut decorated hillsides of Barbados. Beautiful and unspoiled. Beautiful. Today is the 22nd of August 2022 and I will visit this hidden circle pool in the saltstone hills of sandstone hills of St. Andrew and what I've seen we had a lot of rainfall over the past week but what I'm seeing is traces right here of um, like crude oil right here in the water's traces of um, crude oil in the water but still there is no fish I use the 
I'm pushing to see how deep it is in close to me. That's down about a foot. But I'm not sure how really deep this pool is. I don't even know if it's um creek sand or anything around, so I don't want to take the risk of going into the pool. But I know I'll use the metal detector to see if this water is formed on top of a metal component or something. So here's my metal detector. If it pick up metal, it'll keep a noise. This starts this little area right here. Put it up. Go a little in the water, it's no problem, it's waterproof. But you don't want to put the whole thing in because you don't know exactly how dirty this water is. There's no signs of life in the water. There's a lot of moss, that means the water has been stagnant for a while. But I, I want to walk right around. I want to go right around and see if there's any outlets where the water could drain off through the bush. This is it. Still a few porn flies, dragon flies around. That's all I'm really saying. Nothing in the water of itself. No fish, no signs of life. But I'll collect a sample.